Hey guys, welcome back to Below Average Bloggers, where you can follow my journey in niche website building for blogging income and hopefully sidestep some of the mistakes that you see me make when you decide to do this yourself or just follow along and learn as we go through this. So I wanted to do a quick video and close out how the month of September performed. Um, I had a lot of things go on with the website. That was my third month in being in uh, operational. And in this third month, I had a lot of things happen. I started with these OIC ads. That had a big crash on my website. It screwed up the formatting pretty bad. Um, but it's everything's back to normal. I'm going to touch on that right now. Ezoic's customer support is awesome. They really got a team on it and got it fixed and, and fixed some of the script issues I had. So big thank you to the team at Ezoic and for the hard work they put in and such a fast turnaround for fixing that for me. Um, on top of that, so I switched ad platforms from AdSense to Ezoic and um, created some more content for the website. And so let's go ahead and take a look at everything that happened on the month of September for my website. And I will fly in my house. All right, first things first, thank you to subscribers. I picked up a few subscribers this week, which is outstanding, uh, more than I expected actually. So big shout out to everyone who hit that subscribe button. It's very helpful to me, it keeps me motivated. And this whole thing kind of keeps me in a position where I'm held accountable. This is a lot of work doing a website and those of you who are doing it already know it's a ton of work. So to get that feedback, get those comments and thank you to people who've been commenting. Um, I've been getting helpful information. I've been getting good questions. So all that's fantastic feedback. I really do appreciate it. And little things like hitting the like button, subscribing and commenting really do help out the channel. So if you can take the time to do it, I definitely appreciate it. If not, I know you get tired of hearing it from every YouTuber out there. So I definitely understand. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at earnings. We're gonna look at the entire month of September and I'm gonna go and show what I got on AdSense and then what happened when I switched to Ezoic. And we'll kind of discuss that transition, the crash, the time it took to fix it. And so there was kind of a lapse in earnings there, but it's no big deal. I'm so early, you know, we're talking a, a buck or two loss. So I'm not, I'm not concerned about it, but it'll kind of make sense as we're going through the numbers here. All right, so let's start with just some basic information. So I did start three websites. However, as you can see, um, my main website that I started in June, three and a half months old now, I'm now at 61 articles published, which I think I had around 54 last two weeks ago when I did the video. Um, around 85,000 words of content, which is just an estimate, but that's based on each article being somewhere between that 1,000 to 1,500, some are up to 2,000. I've not done any, maybe one that's 3,000. I should probably crank out some bigger ones, more pillar content. I just haven't done it yet. And for the month of September, our traffic was 3,076. So we crested 3,000 views, page views, which is awesome to me um, for that third month. A lot of that is driven though by um, Pinterest pins, uh, sending out a tweet and Instagram. So I've been active on social media with this website. I feel like it's more of a brandable, at least they're actually all three brandable, however, because this one was like my main focus, my, my newborn baby, I've put so much work into it. I just started by building that one social profiles as well. So that one has the most um, signals outside of my website to you to Google about, uh, you know, the content being pushed. So I'm pushing traffic from social circles there as well. So let's go look at the analytics for this channel or this, uh, this first website. And so this is... Yeah, so this is the month of September. This is the whole month. If you, you can see there's not a like, I don't see much of a natural growth here, to be frank. I mean, I see average users here, 10, 15, 16, 16, 13, 14. And then it kind of has some little bit of upward mobility. There's a spike there. I'm not sure why I had that spike. There's 49 users that day. And then we're averaging, I'd say, somewhere in the 15 to 20 again. But what we had was almost 800 sessions with 600 users, 3,076 page views, 9% um, bounce rate. And I have to look at acquisition here. And so if we look at acquisition, it's a terrible chart. All right, so acquisition September 1st through the 30th, the entire month of September, we had 37% come from social. Um, that would be Twitter, Instagram, and Pinterest. 
we had 30, almost 32% in organic search, which is nice. Um, 19% direct, and then 11% referral. I'm not even sure what referral is, if you guys want to clue me in on that one. Um, so that is the analytics for the month. And then we go to earnings. So September, I was in Google AdSense starting September. And so I went through September and then I left on the 22nd. So that month, the first through the 22nd, I made $5.74. Then I switched over to Ezoic. And so started on the 22nd, really nothing that first few days. It starts to kind of move. And we finished Ezoic for the month with $1.33. So roughly seven bucks on the month for earnings. Um, less than I expected. Um, I would have liked to have seen $10 this third month. However, um, this isn't money I you know count on or do anything with. This is all just kind of an experiment right now. So I'm hoping to see more growth this next month and more revenue this next month. Um, that will also be over 30 days that Ezoic AI has had time to you know, study my traffic and my customers and their behavior. And so hopefully that will increase the, uh, the ad revenue. If you look here, they do say my, say my current EPMV is $10.56. I'd obviously like to get that a little bit higher. Um, I had days where it was $22. Um, so that's, if we could average at 15, maybe get to 20, that'd be fantastic. Um, I'm in the outdoor adventure camping industry niche. So I feel like that's a profitable niche, but it's also a very competitive niche. So we'll see what happens there. Um, where I'm least happy for the, for where I'm at is, look at me, um, my Google search console, my activity and ranking in Google. So I had to screenshot this because I couldn't figure out how to get my website out of it. But essentially, here's the whole life of the website, mid-June to present day. We've had just over 1,520 impressions and 46 total clicks. It's a 3% CTR and my average position is 62. Granted, I'm three months old. I'm in a competitive niche. On top of that, if you look from here from, from June to basically the beginning of September, I really put a lot of content out and I really screwed up by not doing great keyword research. Um, so I'm debating, and maybe you guys can let me know if this is an idea that would work, Going back and taking those 10, 15 articles, maybe even 20 of them, I don't know, that were not researched that well as far as keyword research, taking the topic they're in, doing the keyword research on that topic, and then maybe reformatting some of the article, not changing all the content, but maybe gearing it more towards that keyword that has, you know, I have a better chance of ranking in a lower competition. If you think I could maybe bring these back to life or bring some more momentum back to Google, that would be great. Let me know down below what you think you would do with those articles. They're good articles. I just don't think they were researched well enough for the keyword research. And so I'm just putting myself into a SERP position where the competition all have way higher domain ratings, all have, it's a very competitive you know, area. So I don't stand much of a chance ranking with those. So I'm wondering if I change the keyword angle on them, if that will help me rank better. Um, so we'll see. But as you can see right there, that 1st of September moving all the way up to present day, I am starting to get some traffic. And I think that's because a couple reasons. One is now I'm cresting that three month mark in Google Search Console. And then two, I'm also doing better keyword research because I notice what's ranking now is my newer content, not the older content, which leads me to believe that that has to do with the keyword research as well. So, so we'll see what happens with that. Um, so that's where we're at. I would love to tell you guys that, let me get this out of here. I would love to tell you guys that site two and three, I've added 10 more, 15 more articles. I haven't. I have maybe written one or two for each. I don't even know if they're fully posted yet. I've been so focused on ads and revenue and um, dealing with the site crash with Ezoic, which by the way, let me touch on that. I put the ads on, my formatting went out the window. I think I already discussed this, so I'm going to cut that out and fix my hat. Lessons learned for the last, we'll say the last month, September. Better keyword research. Better keyword research. That's a big deal. I know you guys probably know that already. I know we hear it all the time, but it's not until you put in all this work and you don't see the results that you realize, oh, I should have put in more keyword research. So I might even pay for some. I'm not sure. 
And other lessons learned were early on, if you're starting your website, forget all the theme customization, changing, trying to get this perfect look. I think all I did was add a lot of extra CSS and, and, and scripts to my website that I don't, I'm not needing now and they're just causing confusion when the page is trying to load and, and be, you know, fast. So if you start it over, get a basic clean theme, content, content, content with keyword research. Um, other than that, it's a new month. I did start an article as I was selected on Haro to do a guest post for a higher domain authority website, which is awesome. That actually went, it's going live today. I've been talking with their editors today. It's gonna go live. I'm getting a backlink out of it and um, I'm excited about that. And so we'll see what that does, if anything, over the next couple months. Um, and other good news for the month of October, nothing. Ezoic adds guest post on a higher domain authority website and we're gonna see what that kind of yields over the next 30 days. Um, and other than that, is I got my first commission. So let me pull up that real quick. I finally got my first commission. I am a member of Avant Link. It's an affiliate program I use on my website. They're an affiliate um, geared towards the outdoor industry. I did an article on a company called High Camp Flasks. I went ahead and sent it out, tweeted it out. They backlinked me on their website and sent it on their Facebook page. I got some traffic that day. And so that day there was an order through my affiliate link which earned me a basically a six dollar um, commission which is awesome and so i finally got a commission that's good news so if you count my ad revenue of seven dollars and my affiliate commission of six i technically made thirteen dollars this month which is outstanding and so that's what we're going to do we are going to keep following this we're going to keep keyword researching and we're going to see how we can improve this so anyway, guys, that's it. Thank you very much for tuning in. Please definitely like, subscribe, and comment if you can. And I will see you guys next week. Thank you.